Okay, so we had a minor signal failure, apparently. Um, not sure what was going on there, but everything kind of crapped out. I lost control. I lost everything. So, um, I'm not sure where we are. We're at 5 millimeters. All right, cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to figure out what happened there. Everything just kind of froze and said, no more. I'm done. I'm not working for you anymore. So, I had to, had to uh, re-engineer this whole thing, I think. So... Because of that, we were going to do a prograde burn, or I was going to do a prograde burn when everything broke. And the reason for that is, excuse me, a retrograde burn. And the reason for that is because if I retrograde, it pull me closer to Duno, which is what I want. And there it is. To one million, say we'll get, we'll try three hundred thousand. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I lost it again. So one million seems to be our point of no return. So we will stick to 1 million for now. More than enough fuel to fix it if we need. It looks like I'm above the North Pole, which is helpful. So um, let's get in there. Let's go ahead and and orbit that sucker. So there we go. The map view isn't the most exciting view, I know. But right now, um, I'm several hundred million miles away from this and you won't be able to see it. <laughs> I've tried on several occasions, even against the, the the glare of the galaxy behind, you won't be able to see it unfortunately. Alright, so get into orbit, or at least get into our orbital path. Boom. Now to determine where we are in the orbital path. We are two million miles above the surface, so let us do a retrograde, and no, I'm not doing the retrograde burn right now, I know, do it right now, everything fails, but we will tell Mechanical Jeb to get us into a retrograde burn, and we want to go to our periapsis here. Ooh, very close, very close. One hour, two minutes. Twenty... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I missed it. Ah, missed it. So retrograde burn, already there. Burn full throttle as fast as we can go. And hopefully we don't have to burn up all our fuel doing this because we are hauling a bit of butt. It's pulling it in, pulling it in. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I have faith in you. Yeah, I was I was clocking a bit of a bit of speed there, unfortunately. We're going to burn a lot of fuel fixing my 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 error, but we have the fuel to do it. We have two minutes worth of fuel. Above two minutes worth of fuel. Hopefully we won't have to burn it all to get what I want what we need. But like all things in Kerbal Space Program, the longer you burn, the faster you burn, or at least the more this turns, the, m the faster it will turn until eventually you just suddenly pop and snaps around into a full orbit, which will mean we're stable enough to do a true orbit. A corrected orbit. And there it is. So let's bring down our speed a little bit. We want to bring this thing in as close as possible, and this is a good angle for us, because we do want a north-south pole orbit. Okay, they're going to flip here really quick. Zoop, which means now I have to pay attention to this one. And I want 300,000. I like 300,000 for a good... A good setup, 300,000, or for a good mapping to me, 300,000 is where you want to be. It worked on the MUN. I liked it on the MUN. It gave me a nice big swath and was pretty high up there. But uh, closer, it gives you a smaller band. Higher up, gives you a larger band. So let's see. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Eh, close enough. Right? Close enough. Alright, so now we're going to loop around to the other side. I don't know, can I do it from here? 
let me see. Um, since I'm so far out, it should take less gravity to do a normalization. Or, I call it a normalization because it's normal plus, normal minus, but it's basically a north-south, and I should be able to do normal plus, and it should go in the direction I want. No, that is not what I want. So that is not going to help us. But, okay, I know what's going to help. I have to be halfway between the two. And... I guess, honestly speaking, I guess I could tell Mechanical Jeb to certain... No, I don't want to circularize the orbit right now. This, sh this should be right? Nope, normal minus. Okay. I'm still learning how to to tilt orbits. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not one of the things I do a lot of. Usually it's whatever orbit I'm in when I hit the planet, that's the orbit I land because that, was, that has been my goal up till now. It's just to get onto the planet. All right. And I do want a north-south. It's going to cost a bit of fuel to do this, but I do want a north-south. This is very inefficient, by the way. I probably would have been better if I, I had figured out a way to, to come in. It would have taken a lot of math to do, but it would have been a lot better if I figured out a way to come in above the planet and then loop it around. Um, I got pretty close with this, but not close enough to not burn a crap ton of fuel fixing it. That's okay, though. And I'm just going to eyeball this. I use the circular orbit of the planet against the orbit of and that should do it and that should be pretty pretty close we can adjust it if we need to yeah now now I'm going the other way so that should be pretty close so now what I want to do is I'm going to use mechanical jeb to do this let's we don't need our insertion angles anymore we want to circularize our orbit at 1,000... No, 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 no. We're going to circularize at our periapsis. That's down here. So we're at 304,000. Six, five... There, okay. Now I'm going to just have Mechanical Jeb do this because I'm terrible at it. And... Done! Alright, my orbit is circularized. Sun. No. Duna, look, it started already. Look at that. It has started already. We've already started mapping. I'm going to move this down here. And let's go outside of our map view so we can look at the wonderful planet below us. Now look at this. Look how much fuel I have left. I have so much fuel left in that tank. And I, I, can, I don't want to jettison it, but it is kind of a lump just hanging there. Um, so we will, we will have to... Let's do a prograde. I don't want to retrograde. We're going to do a prograde burn. And I am just going to jettison this little guy so we can just have our mechanical jet pot so it doesn't look so ugly. This will be space trash, unfortunately. I could do something weird like turn on the engine and then try to escape it, but I don't want to crash or anything. Not at this point. So we're going to break away and then do a little thrust. Zoop. Done. Alright, now my ISA map sat should... I'm moving this because I can't see it down in the corner. I'd, you guys can't see what's in front of my screen. I got a bunch of crap up here. So let me, let me go ahead and put that back where it belongs. Here. And let's see. Current position is on. Alright, now we're moving very slowly. We're moving very, very slowly. And let me go ahead and quick save because we're here. We're here, yay. Um, we're going to quick save really quick. 
and then this thing will scan up to 50 times speed so to make sure that it's working properly we go to 50 times speed and look at that down there in the corner we have the map sat uh, the ISA map sat system functioning on Duna um, now because of the way this works uh, at 50 times it will take a while because what happens is as I'm orbiting north to south and vice versa on the other side of the planet and what's happening is the planet is rotating beneath me um, so we're going to get this kind of circular curvature going on on the map side here if you can see this curve this curve will continue to fill like this until it, until it spirals down to the last point and that's going to take a while um, my moon map is incomplete because I was too impatient to wait and so because of that I'm not going to force you guys to watch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing map out Duna and uh, that is going to be I think the break point on this video right now and then we'll be back for the next stage so this is our first stage mapping Duna and we, I'll show you the map when we're done with it and then uh, from there we will go on to actually getting some cur uh, the curbins that are on Duna a ride and that's the whole purpose of this so I would like to thank you for joining me for Kilobyte Short on my let's play of Kerbal Space Program and I will see you next video